If the space is narrowed around the central canal, this space right here, the hole we call the spinal canal, that's called spinal stenosis or spinal canal stenosis. If the narrowing affects mainly the sides of the hole, this big hole, we call that lateral recess stenosis. Just a nice big word for the sides of the elliptical space. The lateral recess, the central canal. And another narrowing can occur in these exit holes where the ner main nerve root runs out called the neural foramen. And the neural foramen narrowing can affect this main nerve that forms and runs together to form the sciatic nerve in the back or a plexus of nerves in the neck that then branch to form the big important arm and hand nerves, the radial ulnar median nerves. If the problem is pushing back uh, or narrowing that's affecting the spinal cord itself, meaning the main relay network from the brain out to the nerves, the spinal cord, it can cause spinal cord damage. And the big medical word for that or the technical word for that is myelopathy or dysfunction of the spinal cord. And myelopathy can occur anywhere from the top of the cervical spine down to through the mid-back or the thoracic spine into the upper lumbar region. You can have severe narrowing below the lumbar two segment and have no chance of spinal cord damage, but it can damage multiple roots or nerves without damaging the spinal cord. So that's all gonna be very important in the syndromes that we treat. The, the syndrome of pinched nerves, again, in the neck and arm, cause pain in the arm, leg, variable degree of weakness and numbness, damage to the spinal cord, and again, that's from the upper cervical down to L2, causes variable degrees of myelopathy symptoms, which can be numbness, clumsiness, problems walking or using the hands, electric shock-like symptoms through the body and arms or through the spine, and variable degrees of, of lack of coordination. Usually spinal cord pressure doesn't cause pain uh, unless it also pinches a nerve. So most of the time when, you, uh, when we see a patient with spinal cord problems, it's usually one of dysfunction or clumsiness or their, their legs are giving out or they're tripping and falling or they can't button their shirt or they get shocks of electricity down their arm. So that, that is more typical of what's called spinal stenosis with myelopathy.